So today we're testing this new macro lens from Sandmark. I'll try to take some product shots and combine them into a commercial or a cinematic video. Okay, so a few words about this lens. So this is 100mm macro lens. Well, technically it's not 100mm lens, it is equivalent to 100mm lens on a full frame camera. It's a very solid lens when you hold it, it's big and heavy and it comes with this nice case and you'll also get a clamp so you can mount it to your phone if you don't have a sandmark case and you will also get a cleaning cloth and it also comes with two caps one for the front and one for the back of the lens so you don't have to worry about the dust just to be clear this video is not sponsored by them but they did send me this lens for free to try it out uh, they also sent me this case for my iphone 14 pro and with it you can simply screw the lens onto your main or telephoto lens so uh why would you need this lens if iphone already has macro lens in it well let me show you so this photo was shot with iphone and this photo was shot with sandmark lens on it so the background here is blurred much more and the bokeh is pretty amazing it's very nice and much more natural than with iphone's portrait mode for example you just won't be able to get something like that with iPhone itself. The downside here is that you just won't be able to shoot portraits with it or something that's half a meter from the lens for example because it has quite a limited focal distance and also on your phone you can't close the aperture so you can't get a bit larger depth of field if that's what you want. Uh, the focus area is really small and you just can't change that. Now uh, let's go to the studio space and film something. Okay, uh, it took me some time to do this, but I finally did it, so let's just move closer so I can show you what we have here. Okay, so here's our setup. Uh, we have black background over there, black paper here, and then we have this Aperture Amaran 200D light with Godox strip box and a grid on it. And here on the back we have Aperture MC light, just to add a little bit of that glow from the back. So uh, this will be our product. This is Espresso Monster. So yeah, something with coffee. Yeah, what can I say? I just love coffee. I also created this storyboard of shots I wanted to get. So it's really simple, just six shots and let's do it. So for the first shot, I want to get this close up of these coffee beans. That's why I set up a slider here. I put one, uh, tilt something head on it and then on this head I put another ball head and then phone holder and that's it so as you can see it's already moving because I have to control it through the app but if I'm filming I can't control it so that's it and here I have my phone with Sandmark micro lens so I'll be filming in Filmic Pro app, not because it's so good or something, but because if you use native camera app and put this lens on it, the iPhone will think that you're very close to something and it will switch to its wide lens, which have these macro capabilities. So yeah, you can't really shoot with that. So yeah, um, sliders already moving. We have the framing right. And what we'll do, we'll add some smoke. So yeah, I found this uh, wipe on my brother's desk, so I'll add some smoke into it. I'm not sure if it will work, but we'll see. And let's start recording. It looks quite good. Okay, I think we got this. Uh, cool, let's move to the next shot. Okay, so for the next shot, I only want to film this can opening. 
and I'll do a close-up of this little thingy here. I attach this string over here and I'll just pull it up and I'll remove this in post-production. Yeah, that's actually not my idea. Uh, I stole that from Daniel Schiffer. Uh, he used that in one of his videos. So Daniel, I hope you don't mind. Also, if you don't know who Daniel Schiffer is, uh, you should. So yeah, definitely check out his channel because uh, he's great at things like that. All other things will be the same. And yeah, let's try it. Three, two, one, and... Uh, let's try to do it one more time. Three, two, one. Uh, okay, that's too much. Uh, okay, I'll think I need another can. Okay, so let's try again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ah. Three, two, one. Ooh, I think that was nice. Let's try it one more time. Three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we have to do two shots of pouring this coffee from the can and also into a cup. Okay, I set the frame rate to 60 frames per second, so it's a little bit of slow motion and I'll try to... Ah, come on. I think I have to drink a little bit. And let's see, where are you? Hmm, something like this. Okay. Okay, uh, let's try it one more time, but... I need to have my hand still as much as I can. Okay, I think we got something. <laughs> and now I'll do one more shot of pouring into the cup. I had to go really close with the camera. And yeah, let's see if this works. Uh, okay, I think I'll do it one more time. And I'll shoot this in 120 frames per second. And let's go. Oops. Oops. No, I forgot to press record. Okay. Clean cup. I'm not sure if this was good, but let's say it's uh, <laughs> good enough. So we have two more shots. Okay, we'll do a wide shot of product, cup and also some coffee beans maybe. And I won't shoot that with macro lens because I want to have a little bit wider shot and I can't do it with this macro lens. Okay, so that's it. So we have our product, a coffee cup and some coffee. I think I'll add a little bit more here in front. And here we have our phone. So I'll be shooting with iPhone's 3X camera to compress the background a little bit. And yeah, a lot of light is coming in from here. So I'll add something here so there won't be any flares. And I'll just do a static shot. I'll add some smoke and probably zoom it in in post-production. That actually looks pretty good. There's just one more shot that I want to get, and that is just a close-up of this can. And yeah, we'll do that, and then we're done. For this shot, I'll actually turn the light from this direction. Okay. Um, so I'll just try to turn this can slowly, and we'll see if that will be smooth enough. 
Okay, one more time. Yeah, let's say it's good enough. Okay, so uh, we got all the shots. So let's put them together and let's see it. Okay, uh, I can say that I'm quite impressed with this lens. I haven't seen the results on the computer, but you did, so yeah, let me know what you think. Like any other stuff, it has its minuses, like that you can't shoot portraits or something that's a little bit far away from the lens. Also, the thing that you have to use a third-party app, you can't use iPhone's native app, is a minus, but yeah, it can be quite useful in some cases. So, if you liked this video, I'm sure you'll also like this video here, where I did some similar setup and another coffee bureau and stay awesome keep shooting and i'll see you in my next video